this is Babs from Babs Lemonade Life. Today I'd like to talk to you about buying wigs from eBay. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly scams. How to search for wigs on eBay and my recommendations for buying wigs on eBay. So let's get to the good. Megan by Noriko, the one I have on right now. I bought her off eBay and she still had her tags on her. She came in her box and I was able to purchase her for half the price that I would have at any other website. So that's a good, that's a good buy. Real pleased with this purchase. Cute wig. Um, Becky by Aesthetica. I bought her off eBay for $30. Now I would consider her a good purchase due to the price. Now I would not want to pay full price on her, for her on a website due to these WEF showing. Let me try to get up there See if you could smell. Well, they're hard to see. It's so dark, but there's some right there. In a way, let me. You know, I could count like four or five wefts here in this wig. And had I purchased her for regular price on any website, I probably would not be very happy with my purchase but for $30 I think I could cover those wefts up and she's a good bet good buy so goodbye Megan Becky here's Jules by Noriko I have her the bangs pinned back um, she has a lace front a really beautiful wig. She's an Almond Spice R. Another good purchase from eBay. I purchased her for around $70. And I do have these bangs pinned back trying to train them to stay on my face, which the bangs tend to hang in my face. But another good buy. She came with the tags attached as well, I believe. Brand new, in the box. Another good buy off eBay. The next buy off eBay was Angelica in Creamy Toffee R. I give $59 for her, which is half price at any website online. She came with the tags and with the box. Beautiful buy. That was a good buy. Now I've had some bad buys too. I've had several bad buys from eBay and I've been scammed. So let's talk about those. The bad, Sky by Noriko. You know, I've tried to steamer. I've soaked it in fabric softener. I just can't seem to bring this baby back to life. I may give her it a few more shots, but she's just too wore out. And I gave $30 for her. So, her her color, if you're interested, is Sandalwood H. No, I'm sorry. Sandalwood R. Sandalwood R. Anyway, she's just so wore out. She wasn't worth the money. I should probably have tried to send her back. 
that so many wigs on eBay are non-refundable. I didn't even try. I was just, just trumped that one up for um, experience. Okay, now to the ugly scams on eBay. This here was advertised, Reese by Noriko, and it was shipped from China. It's not even a Noriko wig. Not even Noriko. Now, it's not bad. The, the wig cap isn't bad. The hair is really shiny. It somewhat resembles Reese, but it's not a Noriko wig. There's not that Noriko permatease. The hair is really super shiny. This was a scam, and I did get my money back, and I did get to keep the wig so I could show you how bad this is and warn you so you don't get scammed by the Reese by Norica from China for like $12 like I did. So I got it. I did get my money refunded and some one of my grandkids can wear it for Halloween. That's all it's good for. And my other scam on eBay was Embrace by Raquel Welsh. And I sent it back so I don't have it to show you. But it, when it arrived, it didn't even have a Raquel Welsh tag in it. Um, it didn't re resemble Embrace, which comes straight with flipped ends. Um, it was already curled up like like the pictures of embrace that show what it looks like if it, if, if if you could curl it or what what it looks like when you have it fully curled and the nape wasn't even the right measurements the nape was 10 inches embrace is eight so I'll put some pictures in to show you um, the comparisons but I did have to open a case the fellow I bought it from said, that he cut the tags out and why would you cut the tags out he said he cut the Raquel Welsh tags out well you know the cap itself didn't even resemble embrace it wasn't an embrace wig I've not been wearing wigs very long but I know it wasn't the embrace wig because I went to the website and found the embrace wig compared the caps compared the measurements and I ended up get, getting my money back. I did have to file a case with eBay, but I did get a full refund other than my shipping, and I'm still waiting for um, him to refund my return shipping. And he wanted my PayPal address, and I was hesitant to give it to him. So... Okay, buying wigs on eBay. When you first look on eBay, um, you could fill, you could search for wigs, and then it's going to come up with like 100,000 results. So you want to f hit the filter or the sort button and uh, sort by brand and just check the brands you're interested in. And then I usually sort by price so that the uh, most least expensive price is at the top. And as you scroll down... Um, the prices increase. So, um, when I find a wig that I like, I hit the watch button and then I will go to that website and investigate that wig on, well, I will go to a website, investigate that wig on like Sister Wigs, Wig Studio One, wigs.com to see if that's a good buy. And um, I try to look for wigs with tags or if they specifically say that they got it home, they just didn't like the color and they wore it once or twice. You know, those are those are like like new wigs. And that's the kind I've I'm I've been trying to buy. Um if it doesn't say in the description, you could scroll down and um under buy or you push contact and it you could um communicate with that buyer and ask them how many times did you wear it, how many times did you wash it, 
You know, if they only wore it three or four or five times, you know, it's probably like new. Or if they've, you know, wore it for a week and washed it or wore it for, you know, or if they've only washed it once and only had it for a week or whatever. Um, so I try to buy something that's nearly new because I've been burned on wigs that were in good condition that <laughs> are not salvageable. So, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my tips. Like and subscribe. Um, make lemonade. Find your wig, find your topper. You won't regret it.